Hi, my name is Marissa. Welcome to the Finnegan Fish House YouTube channel. And today's video is all about how to make a sustainable prop box. Yo, so check it. Use salad containers, take out plastics, and Tupperware food containers make the perfect prop boxes for cuttings and wet stick propagations. No need to throw those suckers away after a single use. Instead, clean them out thoroughly and sanitize with rubbing alcohol, bleach, ammonia, etc. The first layer of media I'll add to this prop box is a horticultural charcoal. The second substrate I use is a reusable material called LECA. And basically to reuse it in between uses, just boil it in water for a couple minutes. This is by no means an exact science, but I'm a fan of doing one third charcoal and two thirds LECA up almost half the container. These are two prop boxes I made quite a few months ago and I'm a fan girl thanks to the results. I love the little to no maintenance with the set it and forget it ease, not to mention the upcycling of what would normally be a single use plastic. As a word of the wise, if you see one of your cuttings start to yellow or brown, make sure to remove it immediately. Um, also always make sure there's a little water at the bottom of the container, um, but try not to fill it more than half the way up uh, the charcoal LECA combination. The goal is to maintain higher humidity to help encourage growth without the plants actually having to fight for essentials like water and light. If you're setting up a prop box like this, it's important to remember that you're creating a semi-hydroponic terrarium setting. So it's really important to clip all your plants around the node, but not leave excess of stems or dead leaves on the actual clippings because you wanna minimize rot as much as possible, especially with respect to the higher humidity. Another tip I would recommend is to soak all of your cuttings in water before adding them to your prop box just to wash off um, or minimize the risk of any potential pus inside the box itself. I've shared in a past video on um, why it's a good idea to consider using alternative resources to sphagnum or peat moss. And this is really my contribution into how we could refrain from using it in prop boxes. Absolutely no shade to anyone that uses sphagnum mox in their own prop boxes. I just am of the mindset that if I talk about it and learn from it, then why not share it? I have personally used sphagnum and peat moss in my gardening practices, but feel that I could always do better in using more locally sourced or reusable materials and upcycling things that could potentially be wasteful. 